Greetings, Diocese of Olympia. It's a great blessing for me today to be with four of the five pilgrims that answered the call to go on the Seeds of Hope pilgrimage. What is the Seeds of Hope project? Father Dale Johnson is a Syriac Orthodox priest who was raised on a dairy farm in Skagit Valley. His dream supplying garden seeds to refugees who have no hope. There's some dignity in providing a little something for yourself, even if you're out of control of almost all of your life. Seeds of hope may be a small thing, but at least it's something we can do to make a difference. Where did you go? Istanbul was our first stop. I uh, spent the night there and then flew into Diyarbakir, uh, the capital of Turkish Kurdistan. From there he went to Midyat, thence to Mardin, which is the diocesan center for that area. And then we had a side trip to New Sabin and more Agin, which is about almost on the border. You can look out and see Syria. So all of those were still in Turkey? All in Turkey. Then we went across the border at Jizra and then went into northern Iraq, Kurdistan, and the town of Dahuk, where all the refugees were. Another obvious question, why did you go? And the Gospel says Jesus had compassion. Compassion requires a face-to-face -face encounter. Cistercian William McNamara said that until people believe in a suffering God that we're not going to have very many passionate love affairs with God. You love the people there, you said they yeah, were they, wonderful to you. We visited a, a family in a village. The village was dirt roads. We were in farming country and there a family was waiting for us. And it was a marvelous experience because they were so welcoming. Their son had been our guide and helper, one of our guides. Mm -hmm. They gave us water to drink, and uh, they gave us tea, and they gave us freshly picked grapes and freshly picked figs. It was a very moving experience. And the hospitality on both sides of the border was, was amazing. We stopped at Darabuna, which was a Christian village. The mayor's wife offered to give us a light lunch before we left, <laughs> and so we had a table that was just filled one end to the other with more food than we could ever eat in a week and just amazing on, on the hospitality there of those who really don't have a whole lot yeah yeah, yeah. we were on the edge of this village and this was connected with the seeds of hope project where we were going to take uh, seeds there was a tent with a yazidi family they had a 15 or 16 year old daughter yeah. we're marching through their front yard taking pictures she picked up her cell phone and she started taking pictures of us smile on her face. There was no antagonism, but she took a little power in the situation and said, I can do what I want to. <laughs> yeah. And I thought that was excellent. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. We went to visit some refugees in a dormitory. We met a pregnant mother. Uh, looking at a photo of her the other day, I was wondering, what's the future what for this mother and child? Why should anyone in the Diocese of Olympia care about what you saw? People are suffering there, and as Christians, we have an obligation to be there with them. Scripture is replete with references to refugees, to the alien, to the stranger. We have to be concerned about them. In meeting those people, I felt I came to know God more intimately. We can always say, well, I see Jesus and, and the homeless, and the, those who are hungry, and those who are thirsty. But when you see a small child washed upon the beach, uh, in Greece that just compels us to act. What do you think uh, we can do to help? I think we can speak up on behalf of welcoming refugees to this country, to our diocese, and regardless of what the religion is of the refugees. I think we saw the face of Christ on everyone we encountered. It would be nice to have a, a, a refugee family move into Anacortes, or two, or three. Would you go back and do you think we ought to take people back? The Seeds of Hope project is, n is not completed by any means. If more Americans were to show up and say, we, we understand your difficulties. I would certainly go back and help others go back. It's just a marvelous opportunity and one of the most moving experiences of my life. I'd go back in a minute. How did this experience change you? I'm deeply unsettled. People are really suffering. You know, I just visibly ignorant about how much I didn't know about the Christians in that particular part of the world. Well, I don't think I'll ever forget faces of people we saw close up. It just makes an indelible mark on you. I'm feeling called to the vocation of peacemaking. The world is too small for us to live as we've lived before. Mm -hmm.